games already in the books in this series, we can only expect the intensity to continue to ramp up in game number three. We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The quest for Lord Stanley's Buck continues right here tonight, and we are underway. And now he angles it across the side lead. Gains the zone through the middle. The Bears have it from their own end. Feeds it over to Carlson. Quick shot, and he gets a piece of that one and denies it. And he takes the feed. Hammers the shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Into the offensive zone. Good stand up hit. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. Hey, how about a bounce? Would you seriously, James? Call a goal sooner or later. This game doesn't have one, and that one goes off the goalpost. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Still no score in this one. The Islanders win it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Terry. Hershey's got a hold of it against the wall. Terry swooping in on the attack. Hershey's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. coming up here. Borkstrom's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Man advantage unit is set. Pretty good chance here to break a scoreless game. The first power play of the game gets your best guys on the ice. The Bears get a hold of the puck in their own end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Off the club and makes the save. Slides the puck across to Andreoff. Steps inside the line. Hershey's penalty killers get a hold of it. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Looks to make a play over to Terry. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Bears gain possession along the wall. From their own end, try to kickstart this power play. I'd like to see them be a little bit more direct on the entry into the zone. They haven't got set up, and as a result, they don't really have a shot yet on this power play. Made the save on the play. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Turns it aside with the club. Slides it across to Morelli. The Bears will play it from the defensive zone. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. Great pass from off the right side. Here's a short pass to Coppola. The Islanders fail to capitalize on the power play. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Shot, and he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. And now it's over to Carlson. Oh, another great save right there. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Pilo. Let's see what the officials are calling. Terry's hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Oh, I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. Quick pass over to McMichael. The Bears take it along the wall. Oh, big time save by Skerrick. Takes a wrist shot. There's another stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. And he hit the answer on that one. Her 
Hershey's got the puck behind the net. Pass across to Ness. Can't get a hold of that pass. Quick pass to Borgstrom. Gets the puck in deep. Looking to break out here on the power play. And there's the whistle icing the call. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Islanders win the faceoff. Well, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Made that stop. The Bears move it ahead. Hershey's got the puck against the boards. And a great save! Bridgeport's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. From their own end, time winding down here on this power play. They gotta get something going here. Yeah, you gotta get into the zone first, James. Get it set up, start moving the puck around, but they've gotta get into the zone quickly. The Islanders' penalty killers come up huge. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Hutton stick handling in his own zone. Sends the cross ice pass. The Bears have it against the wall. Oh, what a hit. Oh, you can okay. hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh yeah, that'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Hershey's got possession at center. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Pushes it across to 2-4. There's a point. They're gonna go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. The crushing blow to finish it. Uh, sometimes you're just too big or too strong for the guy you line up against, and that one ended like it should have. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's going to build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. Well, this crowd's still in a bit of a frenzy after what we just witnessed moments ago. Both teams lining up for the faceoff. Musa quickly over to Morelli. Kubiak's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends it across the ice. The Islanders are in transition. <laughs> and that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? You see this a little bit with teams that are evenly matched. It's the early game feel out where nobody really wants to take any chances, James. Oh, that was a beauty! have taken the lead here in the second, but I wouldn't say it's safe. It doesn't feel like it at all. This seems like a game that's going to go right down to the wire. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big just save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. The Bears take it along the wing. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sent into the offensive zone. Feeds the puck over to Scarbosa. Here they come on the attack. Fires it on net. He scores! They tied it up! Brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. You don't get many of these odd man rushes, so you better take advantage of them. They moved the puck quickly and aggressively, and the goalie couldn't keep up to the shot. The Bears have even the score here in this second period. We thought this was going to be a really good hockey game. Now it's tied up here as we get ourselves into the middle part of the frame. this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. 
trying to read the shooter and trying to read the release. He goes down into the butterfly to shut down where the goaltender thinks the puck's going, but he left that top bin open. Up on the stick side, it's in the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Bears are looking to build on this one goal lead. Quick feed to McMichael. The Islanders get a hold of the puck in their own end. Maintains possession. Bridgeport's in on the offensive attack now. They got a pair on a two on one. Oh, big time save by Skerritt. And there's another stop. McMichael's looking a little rejuvenated. He had that fight earlier. Now he had a five minute break to rest, but he's back at it. And a good shot on goal. Scarbosa's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Bridgeport's got it against the boards. Puts it on net. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. He scores! That's three, Ray. Yeah, just they haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal at all here. Once they got that first one, they kept pushing away. Now they've got three. We had enough time to pick his spot, and he went five-hole, beat the goaltender pretty cleanly. The Bears have to be feeling good about themselves here late in the second period with now a two-goal lead. We're into the second half of the game. They'd love to be able to duplicate that first half, which was almost perfection. Denies that opportunity. Bridgeport's got a hold of the puck. Terry's got it into offensive territory. And they'll dump it in. Moves it to Ness. Can't make it work. From in close. Great blocker stuff by Ficali. He got all of that one. Part of the package here is this is a power forward. He's got to get through the body. He did a really good job there closing the light. The Islanders have it now. Slides the puck to Corbula. Hershey's got the puck. Here's a shot. That goes wide. The Bears going to work on offense. And that pass doesn't go. Here's a short pass to Corbula. Bridgeport's got the puck against the half wall. Hershey's looking to break out. Quick pass to Pilon. Gives it right back. Bridgeport's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. Moves it quickly over to Pilon. Play is blown dead with the offside. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. McMichael's two-handed chop is gonna send him off to the box. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Hershey's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Islanders play it along the boards. Gives him a jolt with that hit. And he takes the dish. Quick feed to Dave. Takes it into the slot. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on him. Skerrick's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far.
Borgstrom's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Hershey's won the draw and they'll go to work. The Islanders gain possession. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Bears get a hold of the puck under man. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Puck picked up by Chalowski. And he puts that one aside with ease. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. And the puck leaves the zone. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Andreoff's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Vecchioni's won the draw here in the offensive zone. McMichael's ready to join the play. Handles the pass. McMichael's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Wow, did they get up on their toes on this penalty kill. Plenty of shots, lots of time in the 100 feet of ice away from their net. Good job. Lots of time left in this period. The Bears are up 3-1. The Islanders win the draw. Bridgeport's through center and now in the offensive end. Centering pass, and he denies that great opportunity there. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Passes it to Snively. Takes a shot, and the puck skips off the glove. Using the net for cover. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Slides it over with pace to Durando. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Bears get a hold of the puck in the open ice. And he makes the save. Skerrick's got to be clinching his fist down at his end of the ice. No matter what he does, he can't help his team get some goals. And he takes the pass. Goes right to the crease! The Islanders will play the puck from behind the net. Moves it to Terry. Centering pass! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Ennis carries the puck in his own zone. Takes the pass. And he slides to Luka Terry. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a shot. Textbook stop by Skerritt. Ennis works it around near the point. From one point man to another. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Bridgeport's got it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Kogula. Easy peasy right there by Ficali. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Slides the puck down low. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Sends it in on the attack. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Slides the puck to Annis. Now a quick pass to Protus. Shot! Turns that one away! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. A critical draw here. Borgstrom's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop by Skerritt! Scrum along the boards. Kubiak's loving the puck. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. And there is the empty net goal. Well, that'll put a bow on this one. A solid performance, and once you punch in that empty net, or everybody can take a little bit of a breath. Here in the late goings of the period, the Bears have taken control of this one, now leading by three. And up to Snively. Takes a shot, and that one's turned aside. Sends the pass 
down low. Picked up along the boards by Snively. Denies the chance by blocking it. Here's a save by Skerritt. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. McMichaels won the draw and they'll look to set up. Oh, what a slick stop by Skerritt. Oh, what another save. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. Taken by Snively. And now he moves it to McElrath. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Sensational stop by Skerritt. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Bears win it. Quick pass to McMichael. Takes a wrist shot. Denies him again. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. They may not be talking about it in the room, but you know we are having that conversation and fans as well thinking sweep now, Ray. Well, 3-0, the series totally in hand. It's only happened a few times that someone has been able to come all the way back from down 3-0. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.